Hey everybody, Rick's here. Yes, long time no see. So sorry about that, but you know, life just kind of gets in the way. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, uh, you saw the lineup. Those are those new AFMAT sharpeners and these particular sharpeners I am really excited about showing you because I've been playing with one of them. Here, I'll introduce you to it. See, there it is. I've been messing with this thing with different size pencils, different softness and whatever, and I am very impressed. So in this video, I'm going to go through unboxing this particular uh, black sharpener here. Uh, you've already seen all the different colors, and then we're gonna go through, take it apart, and we're gonna go through sharpening some pencils. And you know, the same old, same old that I do whenever I'm taking a look at a new electric sharpener. So anyway, without further ado, let's get through this intro. All right, so here it is. It's the AFMAT model PSX 5BK. Let me just stick it right up there so you could see it. Okay, so we're going to unbox the black one here and uh, see what comes in the box. Zorite, alright. Comes with free plastic top, no extra charge. How awesome is that? Okay, whatever. Anyway. And the sharpener, of course. Instructions? Whoever reads instructions? And, oh, of course, it's a rechargeable. We need our USB cable. All right, so let's put this in here and this over there. Okay, now take a look at this thing. What does it look like to you? Got a little antenna thingy here. It's a robot. It's a robot looking thing. See? It's got a robotish looking ear on the left here. And it's got another ear here, you know. Pretty unique, huh? It has an ear on each side. It's not like we've ever seen anything like that before. And it's got this little tiny antennae thing. No, these things don't do anything. You know, I might you might tickle the toes of your you know, girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever. But other than that, you know, there's nothing, you, you know, it's just, it's just fun to play with, I guess, for the kids, right? But what I'm gonna show you is for you serious ones, you know, like me, who wants to sharpen different size pencils, well, this is the sharpener, all right? So let's just check this thing out. Hey, look, it's Cousin Vinny. <laughs> okay, anyway. This one here I've already used, so I might as well go ahead because I'm going to go ahead and put this in the box. Make a great gift, you know. Alright, so let's take the top off here. And, you know, just some plastic mechanisms thingies here. You can see the diameter of that, that hole there is pretty good size. That's going to fit just about, well, it fits up to 11.5 millimeter from what I understand. Anyway, and if you just kind of pop this little thing out here, I'm going to take this toothpick and see if I can break it. That's, well, I got me a letter opener here. You just need something with a sturdy point on it, you know, just something like that. But you're going to go into these little slot thingies here and you're just going to pull that out. It's just this little plastic piece. And why do you want to do that? Well, if you ever want to replace this blade, they are replaceable. And there you go. Okay. And so if this ever gets dull, or if you ever break off a soft piece of something or another in there, and you can't force it out by shoving another pencil down, you know, those of you who are pros at using electric sharpeners, you know the trick. If you break a pencil lead, get another pencil, and just kind of force it down so it sharpens its way out. But if you can't do that, take this thing out, pop the lead out, you're good to go. 
and then just drop it right back in here like so and it will seat once it seats it won't turn that's great and then you just snap this puppy back on like that isn't that awesome all right and by the way this is how you dump your stuff out okay so you take this top off you unscrew it and you dump the shavings out just like that it's very simple this thing also let me put this back on here before i keep talking for a second okay so you got this tab thing right there see kind of learn as you go here and you got this tab thing here so just put the tab just to the left of that okay and then it, it'll drop in you gotta turn it drop it and then turn it and then it's on nice and snug okay you've got three settings on here you got really pointy medium pointy and not so pointy like a blunt all right so you set it to the one you want okay so they're numbered like it says number one then you go to number two there's two lines and then there's three lines for one two and three so three being the real blunt tip and then of course one being the sharp tip so if you're going to do something like a, a, a softer pencil now you don't want to go too soft this thing isn't made for for color pencils per se but we're going to try them out anyway because we're rebels here we test this thing out to the limit let me move that out of the way i've already charged this thing up you charge it with your usb by the way okay but it, the instructions yeah i picked it off the floor how about that okay oh wow you're going to need a super microscope to be able to read these little tiny letters or borrow grandma's magnifying glass and just you know use that to try to read this thing but anyway it just kind of tells you that you don't want to uh you know use uh, very soft pencils yeah i say try them all out find you know the ones that you're going to use test them out and see how it works okay but if you're unsure if you got like a, a pencil that you think is too soft for a super point put it on blunt and start with that first all right no need for you to get roman sharp here okay so let's start sharpening some stuff all right so number one here is a standard let's see here we got oh it's a prismacolor color race so this is somewhat of a soft lead pencil it's a black colored uh, waxy type of uh, lead here the color race but we're going to go ahead and test it oh yeah i forgot to tell you you don't have to hold this you stick it in and then let it go and it does everything by itself watch this look at that all done take it out of the oven and there you go didn't break it either isn't that awesome look at it. and that's a soft lead by the way that's kind of like your color pencil type of pencil right there and I should have put it on blunt I left it on sharp but you know what it didn't break that's great all right let's try another one. Oh, this is going to be really cool here yep I broke the tip I know how much you guys like me breaking tips here's a really big pencil this is the 9xx B pencil that I use for drawing uh, it is a really thick look at that it's a very big pencil let's see how it does and again push it down until it stops and then leave it alone look at that isn't that awesome man that is super cool peeps all right now let's try a regular you know number two says uh help smoky prevent forest fires it's just a regular old cheap pencil let me break the tip i know you guys just love it when i do that okay look at i just destroyed that tip now let's sharpen it yeah you know you have to do the hand thing otherwise it may not work right okay anyway take a look at that 
and awesome. Look at that. Okay, now what do I have here? Oh, look at this thing. This here is a Geoconda Negro 8815-1. Another very soft pencil. This is for really uh, doing really dark darks. Uh, it's not a it's not a charcoal. It's not a I'm getting really dirty here. It's not a graphite. It's not a carbon pencil. Okay, and yes, there are pencils that are called carbon. I know they're all carbon, but people always like to argue about that. It's none of those pencils. It's a kind of hybrid waxy kind of thing, like a color pencil would be. We've already seen one. Let's try this one. Bring it on out. Look at that, folks. Look at that. Is that awesome or what? Okay. That is really great. So far, we're four for four. Okay, here's a beast now. This is a charcoal pencil. It's a hard charcoal. It's called an extra hard charcoal. But we're going to test it anyway. And, yep, I'm going to break the tip. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. And it's not broken. It's looking really, really good. Okay, I just ran out of pencils. I did fat and skinny and waxy and whatever. Now I'm going to get some color pencils. The Like, I think they're Prisma colors. I'll be right back. No, they're Artezas. Arteza color pencils. Now, all of these are already sharpened. Okay, and these are in my multicolor uh, beautiful uh, uh, color pencil set and I'm going to destroy these oh okay let me let me do this oh no, my poor pencils all right I just totally thrashed these now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this on blunt because they're color pencils and I want to make sure I don't break the tip always try it out on the blunt one first and go from there. All right, let's sharpen two of them just to make sure it works. Okay, here we go. This is not recommended for color pencils, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, no argument. All right. All right, it sharpened it, and you can see it made a nice little blunt tip on there. See that? No problem. It didn't break. Now I'm going to get braver. And I'm going to go to number two. Again, this is not recommended by the manufacturer, but I'm not explaining myself. Here goes. Look at that, guys. Number two. All right. It's not broken. Okay. So I've done color pencils. Blunt. Number two. I have sharpened fat pencils charcoal hybrid that's what that is i've done charcoal pencil i've done regular number two pencils i've done a couple of waxy specialized black pencils i mean just about everything that you would use as an artist this thing could handle and the design shows you it's for kids but hey it's for this big kid here because it takes care of all the pencils that I need. Oh, well, there is one that I haven't tested yet because I, I hate to waste them, but I'm going to go get it anyway. I'll be right back. Okay, this is a softer charcoal pencil, and I already broke the tip off of it right there. Okay, but as you can see, it's a charcoal pencil. It says charcoal. And it's a little bit of a thicker core than a regular one. Yep, it's a little bit thicker, but not too thick. But anyway, these are notorious to break off in electric sharpeners. Will it stand up to this? I'm not going to go to super pointy. I'm going to leave it on number two, though. Because, you know, these things aren't cheap. So I don't want to destroy all my good charcoal pencils. But here we go. I'm going to push this in.
Well, it did it, and it didn't break it. Look at that. Look at that, folks. You know, and you don't need a bigger point, a sharper point than that, right? You know, but look at that. That looks really, really good. That's number two right there. And that is a softer charcoal pencil, harder charcoal pencils, color pencils. We've ran the gamut. Well, folks, I don't know what else I can tell you about this pencil sharpener. I definitely give it a thumbs up. I like the fact it comes in different colors as you saw in the beginning of this video. I like the fact that it's appealing for children. You can see it has this neat little robot look. And so you'll find links down in the description area where you can get this pencil sharpener, but it definitely has passed the Rick's Can Do It gauntlet test of multiple pencils. Well, hey, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click the notification bell so you'll be informed of my upcoming videos. I hope to put up another one here real soon now that I am back. And I thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.